Welcome, ladies and gents. This is my first part, my three-part rant about Seth MacFarlane. McFarlane, sorry, I had a brain fart, shows and what's my opinion of them and stuff. And first off, we have The Cleveland Show. Probably, uh, one of the... And it's... Okay. Not good. Not bad, but... Okay. Now, um, let me just... Now I'm going to be focusing my rant on the three, uh, major things of aspects of a show. Plot, characters, and... Why are you making the show? I mean, there has to be some reason why you make the show other than you're making money. Uh, with Seth MacFarlane, that's probably the prime reason. Now, now when we start this uh, thing, Majig, ba 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 da ba da bum thing, um, Cleveland. It's basically the show starts out about Cleveland's the first, the pilot of the episode is basically. Cleveland, Peter, Quagmire, and Joe sitting at the clam, and they're all laughing except Cleveland. They're like, "Hey, what you doing, Cleveland?" And then he, because he, because at the divorce lawsuit of him and Loretta, Loretta got the house. Because if you didn't see in an earlier Family Guy episode, Quagmire, um, in Quagmire terms, Gugugadi Loretta's Gishmoinkin, or whatever that means. But anyway, so Loretta's going to play Cleveland in the house, and he got custody of Cleveland Jr., so they're like, okay, where are we going? So um, he tells everyone that he's going to leave, and, um, uh, and he says California or whatever, and so they pack their bags and drive off, and yeah. So, uh, and then when he, they get to, they, they stop at Sewell Bend, so, so Cleveland, I guess, can recount or be with his old high school pals, or uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so he does that, and um, he meets Donna, which is uh, which is with his high school sweetheart from the other stuff, and um, uh, Cleveland stays with her, because her, her husband got, her and her husband got divorced, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, short and simple, Cleveland uh, stays with Donna, and... Cleveland Jr. and um, at their house, and that's the show, basically. And um, okay, I'm sorry. This is my first rant, so if I'm going too fast or something, please like notify me or put in my comments box or whatever. Next we got are the characters. Characters. So um, well the first. One of the characters is obviously Cleveland. Um, he's um, he's Cleveland. He's from. He actually uh, made his character more like um, not necessarily more like Peter, but he isn't like the the Cleveland that you knew from Family Guy that was like, but hey, oh, don't lick that from my bathtub. That's nasty. Now he's more like we need a new thing for my show. He's more louder and he's more. He's, he's more the predominant leader in the thing. I guess you, you have to kind of make him like that since of his, um, you know, his, uh, his, because last, when was a family guy, he was the guy that, that said, hey, um, the guy that talks like this, I'm Cleveland, blah, 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 yeah, I'm Cleveland, with the bathtub joke. But now, he's, uh, yeah. The second, uh, character in the show is Cleveland Jr., and, um, isn't me, or did he get really fat? I mean, really fat. I mean, I mean, but I, I'm, I'm rambling, but in, in Family Guy, he was kind of skinny, but whatever. Um, he's basically the fat nerd, and I like how he says how, I like how he calls Donna. He calls him Miss Donna, and, um... The third character in the show is Donna, Cleveland's new wife, and um, she's um, she's okay. She's okay. I actually, she seems like um, think of every African American woman from a sitcom ever. You got Donna, um, Roberta. Again, every black teenage girl from a sitcom fused together, he got Roberta. Rollo, then again, he's like the, stereo he's, he's the stereotypical African-American kid 
that has the afro, this what up, mm, blah, 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 rapper guy. So, yeah. So those are the characters. Now, well, and, oh, and, oh, I almost forgot. Cleveland also has new friends. He has that bear named Tim, a guy that, um, I guess, and there's a, a guy that's a hillbilly, and the guy that, um, he's the Joe of the show, because instead of having a wheelchair, he's a midget. I don't know why they made him a midget, but, w w whatever. So, um, and, and they, and their bar place is a broken stool, and, um, yeah. And, um, for some reason, their bartender is, and I, for some reason, and I like their bartender. Their bartender's cool. He's, he's not as cool as Mo from Simpsons, but it's, he's the coolest, he's the second, he's the cool bartender. Um, sorry. Uh, okay, now, um, my third thing, um, the, why they made the show. Why did they make a show, a, 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 a spin-off? I mean, it, he has two shows already, American Dad and Family Guy. I, I don't know why any reason they would do this. And I, I think they were playing this for a long time, because, um, I don't know, because, um, Loretta sleeping with Quagmire, I don't know if they planned it that, or did it, or it just that one thing for an episode, but they planned this out, I think, for a while before they even announced it, so, I don't know. Um, over, but, it's not like the, sh but, the, the problem about this is, um, it's just, Animation Domination already has way too many shows. They have Alan Gregory, they have uh, Simpsons, American Dad, Family Guy, Cleveland Show. I don't know if they canceled Bob's Burgers, but if they did, yes! And this new show named Alan Gregory, which I will be talking about, in total that's five shows. I think I think that's a little too much. I'm not, maybe it's just me, but who's gonna sit, who's gonna watch, I mean, I remember it when it was just three. Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, and King of the Hill. Uh, but, four is okay, but five, it's a little pushing it, I mean, with the time slot and everything. And they're probably gonna have to, they don't, they're probably not gonna air the, all the shows in one single night, because of like football and whatever Fox there's like that Jurassic Park fused with Lost, Terranova, crap or whatever. But, I mean, like, it just seems kind of pointless to me. I mean, the show's good and all, but I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion or whatever. So, overall, the show is okay. Not good and not bad. It's okay. It's a show that I wouldn't lose sleep over, but if it's on, I'll watch it. And it's not like that show. Dun, 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 dun. And um, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say that show. Dun, 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 dun. But, but anyway, um, so that's my random the Le Cleveland show. Leave uh, comments in my comments box or whatever you do. So... Stay tuned for my second part when I'll be either talking about American Dad or Family Guy. I've not yet decided. So, um, I'll be the same. Wait, does that mean goodbye or uh, whatever? Bye.